What happens when we don't come for antenatal visits? We have some illnesses that we acquire during pregnancy. Some illnesses are better diagnosed as months go on. For the, the hypertension in pregnancy, most times we call it preeclampsia. For the diabetes in pregnancy, these illnesses, most of the time someone doesn't have them, but they acquire them when they are pregnant. And most of the times, after pregnancy, these illnesses go away, but in a few cases, we can have these illnesses still going on even when someone is not pregnant. On every antenatal visit, we do a full examination. We, are they progressing so well with the pregnancy like the way it should be? We go on to examine them further. We see, is the baby growing so well? If you're suspecting a baby of three months, as you touch these mothers, you're able to tell, are we having a baby that is growing so well? We are having a baby that is restricted in their growth. You wouldn't know that if you stayed home, but when you come to the hospital, to the professionals, we are able to determine these things and we take a next step to see that this baby grows so well. Most pregnant women have been faced with the UTIs. Most times we call them infection. An infection, like a UTI, they cause abortion in mothers who are pregnant. So it's important that you come with screen for the UTI. In its presence, we can treat it accordingly. It is not good to suspect that you may be having a UTI from home and you go to the counter and buy medication because you have to know which medication is safe in pregnancy. Is whatever I'm taking safe for my baby is whatever I'm taking safe for me. But if you come to the professionals, they will know which medicine is safe at this month of pregnancy what can I give you? How can I prevent? And we go ahead to teach the pregnant mothers about the health habits that they can do to prevent the severity of these infections. We also talk about malaria. It's one of the causes of early pregnancy losses. So it's important that we screen for the malaria and we treat it accordingly. It is not good to self-treat yourself. In Antinento, we still go ahead to educate mothers the prevention of these illnesses, which is very important. For example, when we are talking about malaria, we go ahead to tell you how you're going to prevent yourself from acquiring it. Yeah, we tell you how to sleep under mosquito net. You take your preventive medicine that they give you against malaria. For the people who live around bushy areas, you slash, you drain the stagnant water. The things that we talk about every the things that you can do every day to prevent you from acquiring these illnesses. Then when we talk about the infection here, we are talking about a proper hygiene of where your, your, your place of convenience. Is it a clean place? Is it safe for you? Sometimes we go ahead and advise mothers who are unable to have a solo area of convenience to at least move with a a tin of jig to clean the place where you're going to ease yourself from in case it's a communal area as a pregnant woman and of course screening for these illnesses earlier if at all we find you with some of them like for the syphilis we can treat it hiv we can initiate you on uh, art medication if we find you with malaria we can still treat it if we find that, as we've done your HP estimation, you don't have enough blood that can support you and the baby, we can give you some medication to boost your body information of blood. And still, in attending of antenatal, we want to prepare the mother for the mode of delivery. Because we know pregnancy is an individual thing. Not all mothers deliver in the same way. Yes, everyone wants to have a normal delivery, but then as we screen you and the doctor checks you, we want to assess for some risk factors. Are you really able to deliver normally? Can you deliver by cesarean section? Can we be able to induce you in case you pass your time of delivery and we don't have the labor pains. So we have to look at all those parameters and risk factors. We screen you as an individual, not as a group. So as you attend antenatal, 
we shall examine you earlier to decide when is the perfect time for you to give birth and still we shall give you a hint to prepare you may not be exactly accurate about your date of delivery but we at least give you a range that within plus or minus these two weeks at least we expect the baby to be out so it gives you ample time to prepare for delivery yeah, we talk about psychologically, socially, and financially. In that by that time, at least you're ready within that period of time. And if at all we are planning to either have a cesarean section, are there those risk factors that we have to look out after the delivery that you may find in the previous pregnancy, maybe you had a complication of maybe bleeding after delivery. So we have to be ready that we can know that during antenatal by the history that we take from you we can know that and we shall go ahead to be ready for that time if you are a risk mother we have all our sources ready we have the team sure of what we are having at hand so we shall have our requirements ready whatever we need then we go ahead to see there are those risk babies that we have to give birth to if at all the mother has some illnesses, most times we find like hypertension in pregnancy. We may have to deliver this baby early, before the exact time, such that we have at least a live baby and the mother comes out alive. So we have to prepare ourselves. At least by these months, as you're doing the regular checkups, we want to see how is our BP going, we are monitoring it, is the baby growing so well, such that at the right time, we don't have to deliver this baby very young and we don't have to impose the complications that can come out by prolonging this pregnancy. So we have to prepare ourselves. If the baby comes out young at not the right time, what should we do about it? We have the necessary resources to support the baby. If I told you are delivering in a health center that can't be able to support the baby, at least they can refer you early before the condition becomes worse.